Hello YouTube, welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own admin console. Let's get started. So first what you want to do is you're going to want to hover over to server script service. You're going to want to right click and insert a script. Now from here, let's start by defining our administrators. So we're going to say local admins equal now we're going to write the usernames of all the people that we want to be administrators. So for me, it's just going to be my Roblox name. And you can add your friend here, add another friend. And basically, you could populate this table with people who you want to be admins. So now that we've got our table filled with admins, we're going to begin by making an event. So we're going to do game.players.player added connect function player. So what this is going to do is every single time a player joins the game, it's going to execute whatever is down here. So for testing, let's try print player.name has joined. Now, as soon as a player joins the game, it's going to say their name has joined. So now we've got that much done. So now what we got to do is we need a we need a chatted event. And what that does is it detects whenever someone chats and it spits out the message. So to do that, we need to do player.chatted connect function message. And then we can write print player.name said message. Now, whenever I, whenever I chat, it's going to print senku script said and then the message. So let's try that. So I'm going to say hello. And it said senku script said hello. I can say whatever I want and it'll just print it. So now we figured out that when the player adds, I mean, when the when the player joins the game, once they chat, it's gonna print their message. So admin commands are really what they're based around is, well, commands. So what we need to do now is we need to define commands and what's gonna happen if a player says a certain command. So we're gonna start by, I think what I'm gonna start by doing is making a kill command. And this is going to be very, very simple. It's just going to, it's basically all it's going to do is actually let's make it even more simple. I'm going to make a reset command. It's just going to reset your own character. So we're going to do if message equals equals reset, then player dot character dot humanoid dot health equals zero. So what this is saying is once, pl once players join the game, once they chat, if the message that they chatted is equal to reset, then set their health equal to zero, which basically kills them. So let's try. So we're going to say reset. And yeah, we just made our first command. But what we haven't done is we haven't checked if the player that chatted it is an admin. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to convert this to a dictionary. And to do that, you're just going to put brackets around it and write equals true. And now, in order to check if they're an admin, what we're going to do is if admins player.name, then. So now, what this whole thing does is once players join the game, once they chat, if in this list it finds their name, then if the message is equal to reset, then set their health to zero. And we can say else, not admin. So if they're an admin, then if they say reset, then kill them. But if they're not an admin, then print not an admin. So let's remove my name. And now it should print not admin and it should not work. So reset and it says not admin because my name was not in this dictionary here. So let's add it back. And now if we say reset, it should still work. Cool. So now we've got our first command and we've checked if admins are in the list. So now what we want to do is we're going to want to make another command. And for now, uh, I think the next command is going to be force fields. So I'm just going to say else if message equals equals force field. Then uh, local ff equals instance dot new force field. Okay, so now if an admin says the word force field, it'll put a force field in their character. So let's try that. 
force field. And it worked. Awesome. So we've got two commands going on so far. And for this basic video, I'm not going to show you how to um, how to execute commands on other people. I think I'm just going to show you how to execute commands on yourself because that's a lot easier to teach. But there will probably be a part two to this video that will be a little bit more intermediate. And in that part two video, I'll also teach you how to execute commands on other people. So let's continue our commands list. Oh. So we're going to do else if message equals equals fire. Then and then we're just going to put a fire on our character. And we really don't even need these variables. So let's try it. Oh, actually, we need to set this to the head of the character. OK. So now we've got three commands. Number one is reset. Number two is force field. Number three is fire. And yeah, so we've got three commands that work fully. Now, how how did I know that we can do these? Well, number one is because of experience. And number two is because if we, let's say here, let's say we can, uh, let's try to right click, insert object. If you write anything here like force field or fire, you can click it and you can see like it shows up. So that's how I knew that force field and fire actually exist. In the same way, if I wanted to add a part, I could also do that. Else if message equals equals part, then instance that new part. And what this will do is it'll just insert a part into workspace like that. So let's try it. So part, and there you go. So what instance that new really does is it takes whatever is inside of these quotes and it basically right clicks workspace insert object and then it just puts whatever you put in the quotes inside so now we've got four different commands and i think i'm going to end this video by doing one more command which is going to be walk speed so just like how we set the health to zero for walk speed we're just going to set the walk speed to a um a different value so do player.character.humanoid.walk speed and let's make it really fast 90. So now when we test, if we look at our um, our humanoid and we look at our walk speed, it's 16. But if we say fast, it's 90. Now we're faster. And that's basically, this is the basics of making a very, very advanced admin system. So if you like the video and you want part two of how to make it a little bit more complex, how to add things like killing other people, kicking people, I will work on that video. Like and subscribe if this video helped you. Thank you. Have a nice day.